welcome or welcome back to my channel if it's any indication by the fact that almost all the purple is faded out of my hair it's been a while since my last video i didn't mean to take that long of a break but it's it's been like a month so hopefully this is me getting back to my weekly uploads after just disappearing for a month but i don't know i'm gonna try but yeah today i'm going to be showing you my may plan with me i really enjoyed setting this up may is my birthday month and so in that way it's kind of exciting for me and in honor of purple being my favorite color that is the main color for the spread but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and let's get right into it hello hello we're switching over to voiceover mina i think my friend said that i used my customer service voice in my last voiceover so i'll try not to do that this time but i'm starting with my stedler fine liner pen and i'm just doing the outline for my may calendar I'm also picking out some stickers that I think will go with the color scheme. As I mentioned in the intro, the main color is purple. I don't really have any stickers that are primarily just purple, so I just picked some that had some purple and a bunch of other colors. I was also testing out these tiny stickers but I ended up not using them. Instead, I was using these like page tabs or page flags. I'm not exactly sure what you would call these, but they're like mini sticky notes, which I use as a replacement for washi tape since I don't have any purple washi tape. I almost ripped the sticker when I was peeling it off. It would have been really sad if I ripped that because I didn't have any other one like that. I struggled so long with the sticker. I think I didn't put it properly initially and I was trying to remove it, but I couldn't remove it without ripping it, so I just gave up. Now I'm using my Artline brush marker for the lettering for the title. The felt is a little bit frayed on this brush marker, so it wasn't the cleanest edge, but it's alright, I guess. I'm also using my Faber-Castell Pastel Purple highlighter and putting in the circles for the dates. I'm also filling in my friend's birthday as well as my birthday. Then any other events that I remember for May. We're back to these page flags, page tabs, replacement washi tape. I have to glue them down later, but for now it's fine. I'm going back in and writing all the dates. If you noticed before, that was all one sticker, but I cut them up individually and I like how they look better now. Although it took me a long time to cut them for some reason, I was struggling. 
they turned out quite cute in the end so i'm glad i did cut them i'm a bit sad that the background has like a yellow tint and none of my other stickers really have that so it just looks a bit odd but overall i think it looks cute I'm also adding some little doodles. Also going through my smiley sticker collection and then picking out any cute purple ones. I'm also filling in the empty space with more fake washi tape. Now we're moving on to the next page. Here I have my video plan as well as my Instagram posts tracker. And also later I'll add the video brainstorm. I don't write any dates for the video plan because I'm not really sure how I'm gonna have my upload schedule. So I'll just fill that in later. For now, I'm filling in the first video, which is the one you're watching right now. I switched to a pink mild liner for the finance tracker. The mild liner is from AliExpress. My stickers that I showed before and those page flags are also from AliExpress. Most of my stationery is from AliExpress. And if not, it's mentioned down below in the description box. And the next page I have my habit tracker. This is a change up because I usually don't have monthly habit trackers, but this isn't really all of my habits. I'm just gonna continue using my weekly spread for my daily habits, but these are more like occasional habits that I don't particularly do every day, but I wanted to track and see how often I did them anyway. The three habits that I decided to track are when I exercise, whether I draw in my sketchbook, and whether I read that day. Then the rest of my like daily habits, as I mentioned, will be in my weekly spread. I also have a mood tracker, which is also something that is new for this month. I guess I'm trying to switch it up and keep my bullet journal interesting, so I'm trying out a mood tracker. I didn't really go crazy and make a super complex spread, so I just made like a graph for the moods. And then I have three different colors. One is for happy, one is for neutral, and one is for sad. And I'll just fill them in as the days go on. Hopefully. I'm filling in the first three so you can see that. On the next page, we're doing my weekly spread. I mentioned in my last bullet journal video that I only do vertical weekly spreads. But since I don't have uni this week, I decided to try out a different layout. On this side, I have my event section. On the other side, I have my habit tracker. 
or like a mini version of my habit tracker. There's not enough space to write out what the habits are, so I just use like a letter or two letters and I know what the habits are, so it's fine. I also have a section for my to-do list for this week, as well as anything else I need to keep track of for next week. I'm also going to fill in some events. I'm mainly using this event section so that I can write when I have my work shift. I don't really have any other events going on since I'm on Easter break. Although I have a lot of uni work to do, so I need to write that in my to-do list and I forgot while I was filming this. I'm just filling in Monday so you can see that. The rest of the spread looks really empty, but I just prefer to write the other days as the week progresses. Now we're just doing the final flip through of my May calendar, my trackers, even more trackers, and then my weekly spread. And you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching me set up my bullet journal for May. Let me know down below what your theme for May was um, and if you liked mine. I think most of the spreads are the same as my last bullet journal video in March but I'm a creature of habit and I do the same spreads every month. I hope you enjoyed watching anyway. I really like making bullet journal videos. I feel like they're really relaxing. I might make this a monthly thing, but yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram if you'd like, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.